Howdy, I'm Robert Carter from the Museum of York County, where I'm an educator and interpreter. And it's time for another Wild Wonder. And this month's Wild Wonder is the Black and Yellow Garden Spider. Here we have the Black and Yellow Garden Spider. Some people call this the riding spider, and you can see why if you look at its web there, it looks like it is a, someone has written in it. And that's, that's actually some of, part of its web, that's some of the silk. We're not real sure why that exists. Um, it's called stable mena, and originally they thought it was to stabilize the, the web, but we're not sure that's the case. It could be that it's there to uh, attract some insects or maybe to uh, to warn birds that it's there so they don't fly through the web. And you can see that this is a fairly large spider. It's about, this is a female. It's about three quarters to uh, an inch and a quarter in length. The, uh, if it were a male, it would be about half that size. And it uh, has a black body, large back, black abdomen there. It has the, the yellow spots. It's pretty pretty striking. And if you look at the legs, you can see that they're kind of a yellowish orange and also black. And you can see that this, this specimen here, it has its legs um, together. Because spiders have eight legs. And this one you can see, it looks like it almost has four legs, but it's because it's holding those legs together. And this is one of the orb spiders. It's called, it's called orb because it makes these round round webs. Notice that the spider has its prey and the, the prey is still moving. So it, it captured its prey fairly recently and it's wrapped it in its, its silk and it's just sitting there over its prey. And it's pretty typical for the spider to sit there with its head down and it's holding its prey and you can see the prey is still kind of moving. And after a few minutes, the uh, the spider may add some more silk to it, but then it's going to put, stick its mouth part into the prey and it's gonna in, insert some venom and that will end up killing the prey and it will also dissolve the prey. So then the spider can basically slurp it up like it's uh, slurped it up through a straw. And one thing that's unique about this spider is that in the evenings, they're active at night also, oftentimes they eat all or part of their web, and then they will re-spin it after they, they do that. And not real sure why they do that. It may be because there's uh, might be some small insects or some kind of organic matter that's caught in the web, and then they're able to consume that and get some nutrition out of it. Now, I mentioned the male earlier. The male is much smaller, and when uh, a male finds a female that it would like to uh, to mate with, it will make a little small web off to the side. And you know, after they, they mate, then uh, the female is going to lay eggs in a little brown sack. And that little brown sack will, will uh, be there through the winter. And oftentimes, the, the spiders will hatch before winter begins. But they're going to stay inside of that little brown sack until the following spring. So that's it for this month's Wild Wonder. So until next time, get out there and explore your Carolina world.